Hello, Aaron. Alex here. So this is second tutorial about how to create a third-person shooting game in Unity. So in last tutorial, we talked about how to create an animation controller, and we ended up something like this. And uh, the problem with this kind of animation controller is we have way too many transitions between different states. So it's really hard to manage, and also it doesn't give you a smooth transition, and uh, also it doesn't have enough representation of the movement. So if we play the game, you see here, we have no problem to walk and run. But like when the character is turning, it doesn't have turning animation. And uh, and it doesn't have any other animation we need. So to get started, let's remove all the animation here. And let's create a new state from new blend tree. And we're going to go in the blend tree and uh, click on it. And uh, we're going to change the blend type here from 1D to 2D freeform Cartesian type. And uh, the first thing is we're going to change the parameter passing by the script. So we're going to delete the default, uh, sorry, the delta forward. Uh, parameter. The reason for that is we're going to grab the transformation information directly from the animation through the animator. And also we're going to remove the run state. And for forward parameter, we're going to create a new forward parameter with the float type. So we're going to delete this one and create a new float type forward parameter. And uh, next, you're going to create a parameter code 10 and inside the button tree here we're going to change the x parameter to 10 and y position parameter to forward and we're going to start a new adding a new motion view so let's come back to the model here and uh, we're going to start with the uh, idle animation and set position to zero and uh, y position to zero. So that basically represents if there is no input, like all both input are zero, so then we're going to play the idle animation. And uh, let's add another motion field. And uh, as soon as we got the second motion field, you see we have a matrix chart here. So we're going to drag the walk animation and uh, keep position x0 and y position to 2.5 and add uh, another motion field for run so we drag the run animation here onto the scene and change y position to 0 as well and uh, the x position to 0 and y position to 1 so you can start to play the blending tree and uh, we can changing the forward parameter so it start to see the the character start to walk and start to running and back to idle state as I changing the forward parameter okay so let's continue next thing is we're going to add more animation so another one is for the walk lift animation and uh, just drag here and this time the x position going to be minus one and the y position is still 0. and uh, for walk right we're going to have uh, x position to one and the y position to 0.5 so you see like uh, in the in the matrix here for the walk right animation is going to be stay here and the work lift stay on left side and uh, let's add uh, two more motion field for the run state so we're going to have a run lift uh, animation and uh, this time the position x still minus one but y position going to be one and uh, run right X position to be one and the y position to be minus one. So so now let's see if there's a, a 
sorry, the y percent to be one here. Okay, that looks good. So next thing is we going to add in the turning animation. So where is the turning animation here? Okay, turn left animation and the change the x position to minus one, but y position stays zero. And uh, turn right animation x position to be one and uh, y position to be zero. And lastly, we need uh, another animation for walk backward. So let's drag walk backward and change x position to zero and uh, y position to minus 2.5. Okay, turning right need to be zero as well. So, okay, so now we got a really good looking matrix here. And that should represent uh, our character's uh, movement. So if we start to play the animation and uh, let's start change the forward up a little bit and uh, changes turning to the minus value so we see the character turning to the left side and the two positive values and the character move to the right side and the character start to running and let's change forward to minus value so and uh, turn to be zero so we see our character is uh, working backwards and turning to negative so the character is turning to the left side and turning to the right side okay so that looks good so the next thing is uh, we're going to touch a little bit about the script and before that i'm going to console and i'm going to clear the error message here and let's go back to our scene click the space go character and uh, let's go to the scripting part there is a script for the space go controller tutorial two and uh, i'm going to drag this script onto our character and uh, so and remove the first one so this is going to save us a little bit of time so i'm just going to jump in and show you the difference between the first uh, script and second script the main difference is like we pass in different uh, different parameter for the animator so before we have a boolean character sorry boolean type for the animator so has both forward and run state but now we're going to remove them and uh, we're going to setting uh, two parameter as float type one is forward so amount for going to apply to the animator and uh, the amount of turning while going to apply to the animator so both are actually come from the user input but for the forward part we're going to multiply by 0.5 if it's not running so this is value actually this value is aligned with the, the value you see here for the walk animation so and for turning that's uh, for the horizontal input we're going to multiply by three so make the turning speed up a little bit so the last thing is i'm going to show you is uh, oh actually there is a variation of the set float uh, function so this uh, override function actually take an extra two point one is uh, the dumping time the other is delta time so both this uh, value going to help make the transition much smoother and uh, okay so the last thing is uh, we're going to grab the delta position from the animator and uh, divide by the delta time so since we get the velocity actually come from the animation and we're going to apply to the rigid body so that's pretty much it let's have a look how it looks in the game so if we moving forward and uh, turning to the right side and turning to the left side and let's run into the right side and run into the left side and uh, walking backwards and turning to the right and turning to the left so all looks good so this is the end of this tutorial and in next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a jumping animation for the character 
So I'll see you next time. Bye.